So I'm modifying this recipe for to be sugar-free. It's just a regular vanilla cupcake recipe. So instead of the sugar, two cups of sugar, I'm going to put in monk fruit um, sugar. And instead of the vegetable oil, I'm going to put in coconut oil. So here's the coconut oil I want to put in. Otherwise, it's eggs and monk fruit, the monk fruit I use is pure monk fruit, not the one that has erythritol in it also. So try to find yourself a pure monk fruit or xylitol, stevia. Um, sometimes I even do truvia. So here's the pure monk fruit that I used here. It's from Jillian's Bakery. Last me about six months. So here I am, here's my bowl, coconut oil, and I'm going to mix this out. I probably should have melted the coconut oil, but sometimes I can help out. Okay, so next I'm going to put in, I just put in the baking powder four tablespoons and I'm using this xylitol base vanilla sweetener and then I'm going to put in three and a half cups of this oat flour. It's gluten-free and it's stone ground. Stone ground has really low glycine. Okay, so now I added the flour and it's kind of like chocolate chip batter type, chocolate chip cookie batter. And then I'm going to put in the the milk. I use this type of milk. I like it. It's dairy free. It's good. It's um, I don't know, keto friendly. I'm gonna put that in a minute. It's gonna be more like pancake batter. So, but this is good because then all the coconut oil that's mixed in with flour, so hopefully it won't get like. Okay, so now the cashew milk is in. Now it becomes more battery. So now it's like a nice batter. And then I have a pan over here. Uh, it's my birthday this week, so I'm gonna make myself a little half cupcakes, half cake, and I'm gonna spray it with this coconut oil spray. Just grease the bottom. And then I'm gonna pour this in. Here, about half the batter in here. So we'll have a nice little birthday cake. And the rest I'm going to pour into these cupcake holders here. I forgot for the cupcakes, I'm going to put in some mini chocolate chips. Guess I'm sugar free. Okay, so my cupcakes are in. My cake is in. I set it 350, 20 minutes. I'm going to leave the cake in probably longer. But I'll let you guys how it turns out. Okay, now I'm going to work on the frosting. Here's some coconut oil I melted. So it's nice and smooth. And I'm putting in Zalatol Confectionery Sugar Sweetener. And just to make it interesting, I think I'll put in some Devia Syrup Sugar Free. Or maybe this was like a big splurge. I bought Starbucks Sugar Free Vanilla Syrup. It's yummy. Um, it just cost $12 a bottle, but it's Oh, it's a pretty big bottle. So here we're gonna go. Gonna put all the zalto in. And I'm just gonna mix it until it's nice and smooth.
natural vanilla syrup. But this has Splenda in it, so if you don't do Splenda, only, which I try to only do Stevia type of Truvia, natural monk fruit, naturally occurring sugar substitutes as opposed to Splenda, but mix it and I'm gonna wait till this coconut oil hardens up 